Well, I have a bit of an adventure this week. I was helping out with some GPL compliance. What's that? Well, in the most simple terms, and yes, I know a few hundred of you are going to correct me in the comment section, but the layperson's version of GPL in this specific case is if you give me your recipe for delicious chocolate cake and I made a few changes to make it suit my taste better, I have to give those changes to you and the community. If you design a really cool 3D printer and release it under GPL, and there are many licenses with many different rules, and I made changes to that, well, I have to tell everyone what I did so they can benefit also. It's saying I'm willing to share, but only if you are also. Again, it's a lot more complicated than that, but you can go read up on it elsewhere. Links in the description box. When I first got into 3D printing, most Chinese manufacturers were not GPL compliant. They would take the recipe, make changes, and then not say what they did, not publish the source code. Well, I took that personally. I thought it was dishonest, unnecessary, and made us look bad. Fortunately, most Chinese agreed with me and I was able to get many 3D printer companies over the past few years to become GPL compliant. Not all, and not always 100%, but it did get better. I'm also responsible for the first five open source hardware association certified projects in China. Because there comes a time when you have to start making more significant contributions and not just copying. And if people think all you can do is copy, the solution is not to argue with your words, but your actions. And I've always tried to do that as best I can. I don't have a factory, just a YouTube channel and a very loud voice. So when Patricia, a developer in Poland, was having trouble getting source files from a local Chinese smartphone company, Someone thought to take a chance and tag me, and I was not happy with what I saw. Android is based on the Linux kernel, which is GPL version 2, and since someone has to come to their office in Shenzhen and ask in Chinese, this was something that embarrassed me personally as a Chinese person and as an open source advocate. We are better than that, or at least we can be. So here's what I did. Oh, make sure you turn on the subtitles by clicking the CC button down there, or you won't know what's going on. Hello, I want to ask you, 手机公司在四楼的有吗？是手机公司。对，这个叫惊奇智谷，对吧？对。呃，惊奇智谷大厦只有一个，对吧？嗯、哦。呃，这里有四楼吗？有。那边。哦，好，谢谢。哦，好，谢谢。哦。in Nanshan, Shenzhen. I'm trying to get GPR compliance from them. Let's go. I'm going to get the kernel and the Ben is who? Who is Ben? Ben. 发那个邮件的，早就走了，是吗？那哪一个给外国人发的信息说来我们公司啊？我们公司只说中文，我们要那一个什么原盒文件，要我过来拿？那你们谁能够给我那一个开源代码的文件？啥都可以。那现在是谁在？
？莫奈事情有人吗？那有人吗？是你们发发邮件过来说，有本事过来拿呀。啊，你好，您是有什么事吗？有一个非常发的信息啊，你们来来来，我你们的人，你们的顾客，你们的主要是顾客对象是外国人对吧？然后外国人买了你们的手机，里面有一个 Android 系统的 Kernel 内核代码是要遵守这一个 Linux 内核代码。因为它是基于这个开源协议的。现在让我，我需要我们做什么？现在需要你们把那一个 kernel kernel 这个文件，你们，呃，是基于安卓系统开发的这一个，啊、呃，手机 Humidity F F 二的那一个手机里面需要那个文件。嗯。然后你们的人说，我们用的芯片就是联发科的，我啥都没有。不管你们现在有什么开源，里面的代码可以给我的，那我就回去。发给那个外国人，因为我现在你们说不给那也没关系，但是这个外国人就是，他们是那些程序员，他说，你因为 Linux 不是我们中国人开发的 ，Android 也不是，他说你们中国人拿了我们的东西，我做是中国推广，硬件的推广，我说不可能，我们中国人不会给你的，我说会给你的，所以我就来到，我说，是他自己回复的，你有没得劲。因为我对这块不是，就是说不是很清楚，就是我现在是说能帮你做什么，就是说你现在就是需要这个代码，因为这个代码应该不是说谁都可以随便给的吧？基于外国有人的东西开发，所以我们必须要，反正你有什么，你问到那个程序员，就这发的这个人有什么，我们就给那个外国人，让他去决定是不是这个有没有遵守他们的 GPL 协议。因为我没有办法说，我们中国人是做这样的事情的。假如我们不给他的话，他可能就会说我们是偷取、窃取他们 IP 的东西。对，现在就是这样，所以我才过来。我说我们不不是那样的人。要不这样子，我留您个联系方式，因为你说让我们把代码拿出来，这个不是说我直接找程序员沟通啊或干嘛的，肯定是不行的。嗯。就是我也是一个普通员工，我这个肯定是要跟老板讲。然后呢，如果。他说给呀、啊，或者怎么样的话，然后我再联系你，还是怎么样？好，可以，可以，对。那我们回头再联系吧。好好，谢谢。Okay, they said they are going to talk to me on WeChat and give me the stuff. They said the guy who replied in the message email has left the company. I don't believe it. It's just Chinese trying to save face, but it's better than nothing. Now, one of the interesting things you notice is there wasn't much resistance. No one had a huge problem with the idea of providing the code. A lot of this is a malice or intentional dishonesty. Sometimes it's just inertia. These companies have had a policy of not providing it for so long. They've forgotten why. And realistically, these days they have a lot more to gain in community goodwill and good publicity than they have to lose. And fortunately, they were willing to give me a chance to explain that. After my visit, I posted a short version of the video, and it went viral. And just so you know, all the Chinese coding community agreed and supported me, and that really helped a lot. I understand there are a lot of hard feelings there. I know our recent history and what that makes a lot of people think. But things change fast, and most of us don't want to do business that way anymore. Yes, talk is cheap. Change takes time, but as you see, I'm willing to take action, and so was Umidiji once they understood. After seeing that not just foreigners but Chinese netizens insisted that being GPL compliant was the right thing to do, Umidiji worked with me to determine what were the required files and post them. I have a link to them in the description box below. Do me a favor. Other companies are watching to see what the outcome is here. How willing they are to do the right thing, respect IP, respect license depends on the, that outcome. Please judge Umidiji not for their initial response, but their willingness to correct it. They didn't blame me or kick me out of their offices. They didn't defend non-compliance. They didn't make excuses. 
they listened to the community and did the right thing. Umidiji makes a solid line of budget phones that are a great value. Take a look. And if you have a chance, please tag them on social media and let other companies see that doing the right thing is also the smart business choice. I'd like to thank Patricia, Amy, and Ardian for their help checking that the Wi-Fi was sent. And ET News and OS China for getting Chinese citizens involved. This was entirely a team effort. And while only one company and a very small step, maybe, just maybe, it will be the first domino to fall that gets more tech companies here compliant and doing the right thing. That's it for today. Please remember to not just follow, but turn on notifications so you see when I post a new video. Until next time, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Although most of you aren't crazy enough to show up and start yelling at people for source code, and maybe that's a good thing.